So now that we talked about system status, let's let's go to reports. So under reports, you can see there are multiple selections to, to be able to get reports out of your system. So the first one I want to look at is alarm report. So this is the active alarm report. It's telling me my sensor is in alarm. It started on the 18th and I have a tank alarm and I need a delivery and that started on the 3rd. I guess I'm not doing very good about delivering product. You also have the ability to look at priority alarms and non-priority alarms. Priority alarms to be to root are alarms that impact your compliance or impact your operation. Non-priority alarms would be like your, your paper out. You had a paper alarm or something like that. So let's go to history. As you can see on the top here, you have the ability to, to select how many items you can, you can view on a particular page. It defaults to 25, it's typically okay. You have the ability to go back in, in time here and look at history. So I'll go back to, to March and I'll filter that. And it'll give me all the alarms that occurred on those particular products during that period of time. You can print this out, print to a file, it's great you know it's, a, it's just a quick quick snapshot to know what's going on from a history perspective so let's move on to the next one for me is is inventory now everybody wants to know what their current inventory is so you can click on current inventory go to tanks it just gives you a quick snapshot you hit print it brings up a print menu you're able to print out that particular report under inventory history this is the this is a, a neat uh, feature for the system that a lot of folks don't even know exists this feature allows us when programmed in the setup to record inventory reports based on a criteria. So it defaults to 24 hours, but it can go down to one minute. Now we recommend at least at minimum you set this up to, to record your inventory once a day at, at 6 a.m. So if something happens to your inventory records, you'll technically have 720 records or, or two years worth of inventory data if you ever have to go back and deal with some type of uh, inventory reconciliation issue or compliance issue with a regulator. Again, this is the filter for the for the for the reports. You can go back in time. You can set the dates and time. Run the filter, and you'll get the data. The last one is shift inventory. If the system is set up as shift inventory, you'll see that you'll have different reports for different shifts and for different tanks. Um, this has to be set up in uh, the setup function as well. The other two I want to quickly look at is the last delivery. Everybody wants to know what the last delivery is. So this just tells you what the full volume was at the beginning, at the end of, the, of it, and what the amount was for the delivery, and if there were any changes during that delivery as well. And then we have history, which you may need for uh, inventory uh, control purposes. Again, you can filter, go back in time, get a particular filter running, I don't think I have any in, my, in mind right now. If you have our reconciliation product, you would have adjusted delivery, ticket delivery, and manual delivery functionality as well. The last one I wanna to touch on on here is environmental. Um, combined leak tests, this is the key for you folks when you're dealing with regulatory agencies. These are our past test results. As you can see, SLD or static leak detection. These are the results. It shows you gross leak test, so on and so forth. Um, this is the last test that, that it ran. Line leak, there'd be line leak alarms in here as well, or line leak results as well. Your system status. We have sensors by history as well. So if you particularly sensor or uh, you know any kind of sensor that you, you're monitoring, you can look at the history. Again, you can use the, the calendar to go back in time. You can also do it by, by period, which is really good from a regulatory perspective. The regulators like this because the period, so May, you know, January didn't have anything in between January and May, which is great. So gr great functionality, utilize this web browser to get that data. Then the last couple down here is HRM, tank charts. So you can actually look at tank charts if you needed to look at them. This is the actual tank chart that's active. And then we do have a maintenance program. So we have maintenance history. So view as our maintenance history to record when a technician comes on site they log in and it will record what they're doing and what they've done on site